Leanne Allaire Perot in our craft room. Hi, honey. It's with your new, with your new kids. So great. So they are enjoying this already. They but are. what we want to talk about is uh, craft room hacks. Exactly. Because you might want to spend some time doing some art with your kids over March break if you've got the time. This is going to keep them busy. You know what I think the best thing you could do is if you can get the kids crafty, it gives you some time to organize the craft supplies as well. Right. Because I know myself, things just go in bins and it's impossible to find things and then they dry out and yeah. it just becomes a mess. So if you can get them being crafty, well, you can organize a little bit of the crafting and also partake. I think it's like a double header. It's a win-win. So I think part of crafting is, first of all, really determining where the best place in your house is to do it. And I right. know for myself, I don't have the luxury of a Martha Stewart craft room. You don't have that, No, do shocking, right? Do I, I. I don't know that a lot of people do. But I think that there's ways that we can adapt certain spaces if you are a crafty family. Right. Everyday spaces into craft area. First of which, like just the kitchen table, that's where we do it that's all. That's where we do it. Absolutely. And I love the idea of actually incorporating some craft areas. Now I know not everybody has a ton of space for extra storage in their kitchen mm -hmm. to be taking up cupboard space, but IKEA has the kitchen system, the Grundle kitchen system, which we've seen for years. Like yeah. I just, I love the system because it's so smart. But if you have something like this, this is why awesome. not have the containers that you can bring in for kitchen, but then when you're going to craft, you can have new ones in a closet or something that you can pop in so everything's easy oh, and accessible. Right. And you can keep it there the whole week long for all of March break smart. to stay crafty. Or again, something like this this hanging inside a closet if you've got a recessed closet where all the supplies are right in there vertical space is so great because it's easy to see again all of this pops out and particularly I love I can't stress enough the importance of actually hanging paintbrushes I know it's a silly little tip yeah. but if you stuff these into the bottom of containers the bristles get all gross yeah you can wash these out and hang them up here and it's perfect a perfect little perfect. storage system that is so neat and organized it's organized and if you don't again have vertical space on a wall something like an art cart is yeah. a really easy thing to create and I actually have something very similar to this I love this little multi-purpose cart again from Ikea this one I have something similar it actually slides into my front hall closet Ooh, so all the smart. coats hang up higher there's all that room in the bottom and yeah. yes I've got shoe orga organizers but then this little guy tucks in there so it can come out on the casters when we need it and that's the thing a lot of people might not want to have this out all the time exactly. so it's on the casters you can always Tuck set it, it aside away. when Make you it don't want to look at it yeah and then of course great. a place to store the works of art right and I happen to think that kids art should be everywhere in the house Why I really not? just do it's it's kind of my thing so I love the oversized cork board but the thing is and we've talked about this so many times we drown in kids artwork for sure you yeah. know what we just started doing the what? kids are got a little spoiled this Christmas and they got tablets we now ask them is it a masterpiece or not and if they say no they take a picture of it and then they put That's it into brilliant. their own photo slideshow with music that they figured out how to do I don't even know how to do that <laughs> they have that so they can keep all of their little treasures yeah just digitally which because I think is so great. I don't know if you guys are like me but there's a lot of art coming into our oh, house yeah. every day so this yes. is a good decision for them to make every day and figure out what goes exactly up on the wall if it's a masterpiece it goes or in, in the, the recycling wall. bin yes or filed under G as I like to under call it G. The garbage yes. yeah just you know in that filing cabinet never there's to be a seen lot. again yes so I was scouting online for some craft hacks because there's so yes. many of them out there and they just make your life so much easier. And I also just happen to think some of them are really cute and yeah. fun. So one thing for me is all the little bits and pieces. We were talking about drawers. I do have the junk drawers. So I have had sp a spice rack. I was given this spice rack oh, and nice. I'm not a spice rack kind of girl, I'll be honest. Like I've just never used it. Mm -hmm. But I thought, you know what? I could really use some sort of compartment for all of my little bits and pieces. That's so great. So you can all see of the all little of them, crafty the, the beads. Pins in here, the safety pins, Exactly, the I've got a separate one with all like colored beads organized by color, so it just makes things very easy and again can tuck away very simply in a closet or cupboard so they don't get all mixed together. Good idea. The other thing I struggle with is ribbon. Right. I really struggle with ribbon. So this it's is everywhere? actually, it's everywhere and it oh, gets tangled. So cool. this I picked up a while ago. It's a mug rack and I'm not oh. a mug rack kind of girl either, but I did really like it for the <gasps> idea of putting all my ribbons. That's so now great. it's easy to have and I can spin it around depending on what I need um, to be working on at the time. Right. So it makes it really simple. But this I found on Pinterest and I was like, just, it's the little things sometimes. You go, really? So easy and so amazing. So this right here, it's just the perforated basket and you like layer all your ribbons in there oh. and now you can 
can pull. So you don't get that mess. Exactly. You stash your little tissue paper at the back. It's yes. so, so simple. That is such a simple thing. But you know what? You're never going to want to craft if you look in this and it's just a, a mess. No, exactly. If you don't organize it, you're never going to want to do it. Exactly. Now, this little guy was also a very, very smart idea. So, Tupperware container. Yep. You pop this open. A couple kitchen sponges in there, depending on the size. Okay. You add a little bit of water. Pour on your white school glue, yeah. and now you don't need to worry about little hands and fingers trying to get the glue on and it dripping everywhere. It gets messy. You just do like a dab and a stick. Oh, and a dab good and a idea. stick. So simple, so simple. And the nice thing about this is you can just put the lid on, and this will stay for a very long time. If it starts to dry out, you just add a little bit more water to it. I'm gonna do this. Really simple. That's and then really good. this I thought was also very clever. What is it? So these are chalk markers, but yeah. also dry erase board markers. Okay. I can never find the dry erase thingy uh, for the, the eraser. Yes, the thingy. eraser thing. Yeah. So you know you run for for paper towel. Yeah. Stick a pom pom on the end. And I did it color coded, so oh, I just used a you little. Stuck that on. I just stuck that on, so now you can write with one side, and the kids can erase on the chalkboard with the You're other. So, good. so simple and so cute. So simple, very cute. And clean up is one of my least favorite things. Yeah. So, so how do you clean up? When do you it comes just to put it up, all in a big bag and throw it out? Pretty much, because <laughs> if you use press and seal, which is actually on the little table, okay. I wrap the press and seal on the table, so when they're done crafting, which they're doing so such right an amazing here. job, you just basically peel it off and toss everything away. Oh my gosh. That's a great idea. Away. And then one of my least favorite things ever are glitter crafts. Oh my gosh. Because you do the Tell whole you and oh no, what do we do now, Tracy? <laughs> if we forgot the press and seal or if it's in the carpet, well, you grab yourself a lint roller. And especially oh. on carpet, and this will take everything up for you. Very good, because so that you easier. can have for the next 12 years of your life. I find it in the weirdest crevices everywhere, of like my in body. The bra. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it's, it's always a party in my house. Always. <laughs> I love that uh, Deanna and Michaela, they've been playing so nicely they at have. these crafts. This is, this is the age when they can truly appreciate For sure. the crafting situation. And we just introduced them um, to this new thing that they're playing with right now. So it's going to keep your kids entertained during the break. It's Da Vinci kits. Do, That's what they Do are. Da Vinci. How cute Do is that? Da Vinci. Get it? <laughs>